Jehovah Jonah Jehovah Jehovah Shada Jehovah You are the most high Jehovah You are the most high God Lord you know the reason why we are here Jehovah you are the most high God. You know the reason why we are singing Jehovah me. You are the most high God. Jehovah. You are the most high. Jehovah. You are the most high God. You know the reason why we are here, Lord. Jehovah. You are the most high God. He knows the reason why we are God. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. You are my Lord. You are my God. You are the eyes we used to see. You are the key that opens the door. You are the owner of our soul. The bush that burns that never cause you. What shall we render to you, O Lord? We will bow down and worship you, Lord. You are my Lord. You are my God. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are the eyes we used to see. You are the key that opens the door. You are the owner of our soul. The bush that burns that never consume. What shall we render to you, O Lord? Oh, we will bow down and worship you, Lord. You are our King. Patience of days. That's all that you are. That's all that you are. You will never change. Patience of days. As old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. A chance of this, a chance of this, as old as you are, as old as he is, as old as you are. You will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. He touched our life with his sense, our life change. He touched our life with his says, Our life became a new one. Jehovah touched our life with his says, Our life changed. He touched your life. Oh, he touched our life with his says, Our life changed. You touched our life with your hands. Our lives became my new one, Jehovah touch our life with his says, I love church. Oh, he touch your life, he touch your life with his says, your life change. Oh, he touch your life with his says, your life became a new one. Jesus has touched your life. With his says, your life change. He can never, never fail. He will never, ever fail. 
He can never, never fail. Jesus, you say forever. Hallelujah. He can never, never fail. He can never, never fail. He can never, never fail. Jesus, you say forever. I say he can never, never change. He can he can never, never change. He can never, ever change. Jesus, you say forever. Our Father, our Father who is in heaven. Amen. Hello be your name. in heaven. Amen. Hello be your name. From east to west, Kabari Adosia, no other gods. From north to south, I said there is no other God. From east to west, from east to west, no other God. From north to south, we said there is no other God. Oh, from east to west. No other gods from north to south. We said there is no other god. La nuga ima o e no swa maria gbo. Hey Jesus. Connect your mind tonight. Connect your mind because what God is going to do in your life, in your home tonight, He's going to be so powerful. That long awaited testimony, that long awaited blessing you have been waiting for, heaven will release it unto you today. Open your mind. Invite others to come. Share this link. Share the, the Facebook. Share it out so that others will join us. And they will release, heaven will release their own blessing tonight. We are not just here to crack our mouth. We are not just here to look at each other's voices. We are not just here to listen, but we are here tonight to speak to God. We are here tonight to listen to the voice of God. Hallelujah. If you are under the sound of my voice tonight, I want you all to unmute your mic. Facebook, follow me all now and worship this God with the whole of your heart so that that awaited testimony you have been waiting for, God we release it tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. La onuge yima o e no swa maria gbo. Igwe nuge yane o e no doguge o. Wago meme o. Baba. Is someone hearing this voice tonight? Are you there tonight? If you are there, shout hallelujah. Wave your hands and let me see you. E nuge yima o e no swa maria gbo. La onuge ya me o e no do guge o wa go ne me o baba nuge ye wa o e no swa maria gbo la onuge ye ya o e no do guge wa gi wa re o baba Jesus let my cry Touch you we are Savior. Let our we be touch you we are Savior. Oh, let our tears reach you in your throat, Jehovah. Let our we be touch you we are Savior. Oh, let the we be touch you we are Savior. Let our tears touch you we are Jesus. Oh, let our tears touch you we your throat, Savior. Let our we be touch you we your throat, Savior. 
Open your mouth and begin to worship God this moment. Open your mouth, talk to God, uh, begin to thank Him. Thank Him for everything He has done for you. Thank Him over the life of your children. Thank Him over the life of your families. Thank Him over the life of your parents. Thank the name of the Lord over the life of your families, over your home, over your marriages, over your relationship, over your husband and your wife. Begin to thank the name of the Lord wherever you are right now. Open your mouth and thank this God because he's worthy of our praise. I want to hear your voice. Atmospheric, I want to hear your voice. Pray tonight. I want to hear all my being on mute. Talk to God right now. Talk to God for because tonight is your night and God is going to open heavens for your sake on tonight. Open your mouth and talk to God. If you cannot pray, sing to him. If you cannot talk, worship him in your tongues. Open your mouth and begin to exalt his name. Open your mouth and begin to celebrate him. Oh Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jehovah. We exalt you, our Father Omega. Father, I thank you, Lord. When I look at where I am today, I say, thank you, Jesus. When I look at my life today, I say, thank you, Jesus. When I look at the life of my families, I say, thank you, Jesus. When I look at where I am going to, Father, I am still saying, thank you. King of glory, O oh God, only thank you for today there is not enough, Jehovah. Father, as a family tonight, we are joining our hands together to appreciate you for your love of our kindness, we are saying thank you. For your grace upon our life, we are saying thank you. Thank you, our Father Omega. Thank you, everlasting King. Thank you, omnipotent Lord. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, Lion of Judah. We are saying thank you tonight. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Daddy. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, thank you. Thank you, eh? thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, for your mercies and your goodness. Thank you, Savior. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, thank you, thank you, Savior. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Let us open our mouth right now. Let us begin to exalt his name one more time. Let us celebrate him one more time. Let us thank him. Let us thank him for the things he has been doing. Let us thank him for the ones he's about to do in your life. Let us thank him now. Open your mouth, beloved families. Uh, tell God, thank him. Thank him, thank him, thank him for all he has done. Thank him for the good health. Uh, when I was straight past Facebook days ago, I saw where a young lady in a mortuary, where so many men were lying lifeless. Uh, all of them were inside the fridge. Uh, I was weeping. I said, God, thank you for my life. Lord, I thank you for the life of those uh, that are living. Thank you, oh God. A uh, all those families who have lost their loved ones. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everlasting King. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to say thank you, Lord. I just want to say thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Ashes of the Days. Thank you, Omnipotent. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now we are still going to pray. We are going to tell God that that environment where you are right now, those on Facebook as you are watching me, the environment where you are at this moment, because at times when the evil doers want to strike you, when they see that you are praying, and that prayer will yield something, they will look for different ways to manipulate so that your prayers will not go far. Now, 
We will soak that premises where you are right now. You are going to soak it with the blood of Jesus. You are going to soak everywhere with the precious blood of Jesus. As you are going to be praying tonight. So that fire will come down from above to settle every case is here tonight. In the name of Jesus. Now open your mouth and begin to soak your environment with the blood of Jesus. Because as you are under this prophetic anointing, every prayer here tonight must be answered. Every request here tonight must get to Jesus. It must get to the throne of God. So therefore, soak your premises with the blood of Jesus. I soak every premises here tonight with the precious blood of Jesus. As many of you that are under the sound of my voice and those that will come across this video later on, I soak here you are with the blood of Jesus. Everything about you, everything about your home, your family, your children, your work, everything about you, I soak everything with the blood of Jesus. I soak all your promises there. Every area, any place you, you are there, I commit it to the hands of the Lord. As we are going to pray right now, I release the prophetic Holy Ghost, the prophetic power of Jesus. Jesus, uh, to come upon every environment, every, every environment there, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting King. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Unto the Lord shall be the glory. Great is He has done. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great is he has done. I sing unto my God, shall be the glory. Great is He has done unto my Lord, be the glory. Great is He has done. Great is He has done. Greater things He will do unto Savior. Be thy glory, great things he has done. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, for the Bible says, prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto what? Unto God. A prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto God. For all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. Wherever you are this day, this afternoon, this evening, according to your time, you are going to ask God for mercy. You are going to talk to God. Father, anywhere I have sinned against you, let your mercy prevail in my life today. Open your mouth and say this prayer. Say, Jehovah Nisi, Lord, anywhere I have sinned against you, let your mercy purify me today. Have mercy upon me. Begin to talk to God. Father, let your mercy so prevail in our life tonight, oh God. Let your mercy so prevail in the life of your people tonight. In the name of Jesus. Father, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. We all have seen and have come short of your glory, Lord. Have mercy upon each and every one of us tonight. Forgive us our sins, Jehovah. We might have sinned against you in different ways that we do not even know. Father, is it in our thoughts, in our deeds, in our words, and even in our action, oh Lord? Have mercy, Jehovah, Lord. Have mercy upon us, oh God. Have mercy upon every soul here tonight. Forgive us, oh God, in one way or the other, that we might have come short of your mercy, that we might have come short of your blessings, of your grace, of your glory over our lives. Father, have mercy in the name of Jesus. Have mercy in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy, Holy Spirit, have mercy. Savior, have mercy. Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy, Holy Spirit, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Savior, have mercy. Have mercy, Holy Spirit, have mercy. We are going to pray. My Father, my Father. Hey, are we ready to pray tonight? If you are ready to pray tonight, say, Satan, give way. Hey, if you understand the kind of the kind of battle God is fighting on your behalf, 
If only you obey his words. If only you obey the Lord. And you will know that he's fighting a great battle on your behalf. He's settling your cases. If you are ready to talk to God tonight, say, my father, my father. Anyone, anyone fighting against the grace of God upon my life. Because every one of you here tonight, both the ones watching me on Facebook, many of you have the grace of God, but it is only on different branches. All of you have the gift of God. You have the blessings of God upon your life. But it is what? On different branches. But there are spirits, there are powers that are fighting against the grace of God upon your life. There are demons that are fighting for you not to get to that position. For you not to get to that which God has planned for your life. Now we are going to call upon Lord. My father, my father, any forces, any power fighting against what? The grace of God upon my life. Now call upon Jesus to arrest those powers tonight. Open your mouth and talk to God. Hey, Kabariado, open your mouth and begin to talk to Jehovah. Every process, every power fighting against the grace of God upon my life. Lord, I arrest them tonight by fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to talk to Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to talk to him. Because there is no one like him. There is no one like Jehovah. Mighty my glory tonight, Lord King of glory. I already overpowered them. I already overpowered them. Every Mighty my glory. Mighty my glory. Oh Lord, calm down. I manifest your power. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to Jehovah. Because there is no one like this God. Every force is fighting against the children of God. Let the fire of the Lord begin to arrest them tonight. Open your mouth and talk to Jesus. Begin to talk to this Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We are still going to pray for every children. Every children here tonight and the ones that are not here. We are going to pray for them. That the divine covering of Jehovah will be upon their head. No weapon fashion and designed against them this year and forever shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Uh, whether you have child or not, uh, yours will come at the right time of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray over every children, both in this group, uh, both in all over the world. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. Father, we decree, oh God, uh, the divine covering of Jehovah Nisi upon every children tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every satanic agenda over every children's life. It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. Heavenly Father, I am that I am. Jehovah Nisi Kabaria. I decree tonight, oh Lord, that every child, that the 
name of our God, their destiny. I decree tonight, oh God, uh, be released in the name of Jesus. Uh, be released in the name of Jesus. Ikade Zuzaya Bariatosia, King of Glory. Every satanic agenda over any children here tonight. Uh, in this prayer group, uh, in this Facebook, uh, in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, oh God, uh, we arrest their powers tonight. Uh, I decree the covenant hand of Jehovah to locate every children tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, that every satanic covenant, every satanic agenda over their life this year forever, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. My I decree tonight, O God, divine covering of God, be upon every children out there. In the name of Jesus, the divine hand of Jehovah, divine protection, locate them tonight. Open your mouth and begin to decree the protections of God all over your children, upon the ones out there. Even if they are not your children, begin to talk to God. Talk to God on their behalf. I decree, oh God, the hands of God be upon every children out there. In the name of Jesus, so many children misbehave these days. Not because they want to do it on their own. Because there are forces behind their, their behavior. Now I decree tonight, I speak into their lives as an oracle of Jesus. As the servant of the Most High God. As a chosen daughter of Jesus Christ. I decree in the name of Jesus. Any children tonight, oh God, that demons have hijacked their destiny. I decree restorations upon them in the name of Jesus. I decree restorations in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting King. I soak every children with the blood of Jesus. King of glory, O oh God, we will not bury our children in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. And anything that has to do with their blessings, their career, their future, their destinies are sealed in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. No matter the plans of the evil ones this year, over any children's life, uh, it shall not stand, uh, neither shall it come to pass. Uh, so saith Isaiah 7 verse 7, uh, and I am standing on that one right now to prophesy divine covering uh, upon every children out there in the name of Jesus. Uh, because the revelation I had today was it pleasant at all. Because demons are planning uh, to manipulate small children. They are planning, you know when I am speaking like this, a lot of people think uh, what is she saying, uh, but when it start manifesting, that is when they will realize that I decree tonight over every children, anyone planning to take the life of your children, I send Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus, uh, and I decree that any children that cannot talk, uh, that cannot walk, that cannot move uh, under the age of five, uh, as I mention the name of Jesus Christ five times, uh, I decree right Restorations in the name of Jesus. Restorations in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be free. 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 I decree. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Now we are still going to pray. We are still going to pray for every pregnant woman. I have said it before. I have said it before that no pregnant woman should post their pregnancy online again, starting from last month. But they did not share that video I did. Maybe they thought because I am not yet so, so popular and they don't want to listen. Now, what are we now? The 14 days I give for masks to be cancelled. Now, there is no more use of masks in Dutchland. Hallelujah. The things, the prophecy I gave are, becoming, are coming to pass. We need to be careful. If you have relatives, sisters, wives, sister-in-laws who are pregnant, want them to take their pregnancy off Facebook. I have said this before. But many of them have not gotten this message. I am still saying it. By the time demons, those ritualists will start cutting them online. The moment they see any pictures, because very soon they will not see any child on the street to pick again for ritual. Very soon they will not see anybody to use again for ritual physically. What they will now extend their hands so higher, but higher. they will now start going to life, Facebook pictures, those who are pregnant, exposing their pregnancy. 
they will start what piercing them. I said this before. How many of you remember this? That message is still coming. I beg you all to share this video. Those on Facebook, share this video to your families and friends. This is a warning again, coming for the second time. I did this. This came again. It came before, over a month ago, I think so. And now it's coming again. That means it is getting closer and closer and closer. Please share the video. Let, the, let those who have ears, let them hear. I can only speak what I hear. I can only speak what I see and what he revealed. I cannot do more than that. Except when you come to me for prayers, then I can lead you in prayer. I will only give his prophecy. Only those who have ears, let them hear. When I started saying this war issue, November last year, I started singing it, that people should give their life to God because of the trouble that is coming and it's going to shake the world. This is going to shake the world. I said it. June 3rd this year, January 3rd this year, we did a prayer on it. It's online there. And when it started manifesting, a lot of souls have died because of this war. It came to pass. God gave another message again. Say, tell them that president, that president, what is he called Putin? <laughs> he will become very useless. I am online right now. I am, I am not afraid to speak his word. Because I know that Jehovah who has put this word in my mouth and revealed it, he's the God that does not sleep nor slumber. Those who have ears, let them hear. Hallelujah. Those who have ears, let them hear. If you are pregnant, take your pregnancy off Facebook until you put to bed. When your child is three months, you can post whatever you want to post. Post whatever you want to post when your child is three months old. When you are pregnant, listen, hear it and hear it now. Hear it now. Do not post your pictures of pregnancy online. If you are pregnant, stay away from Facebook. Stay away from Facebook until you give birth. When your child is three months, you can do anything you want to do online. Because demons are coming after pregnant women on Facebook. Please, atmospheric worshippers, pass this message around. This is coming again. You know this message has come before, a few months ago or two months ago. It's coming again. I know you love your loved ones so much. You care about them. Please pass this message to them. We are still going to pray. Any covenant we have entered, knowingly or unknowingly, we are going to break them by the blood of Jesus. Every knee we bow. And all tongues we confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. We have no power of our own. Ha. We are going to decree tonight. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Any covenant I have entered into, any covenant I have entered, whether when I was in Nigeria, when I was a child, or when I was asleep, I don't know how it happened. Any covenant I have entered into, that is delaying me from getting to my promised land. From getting to my place of destiny. Pray this prayer like you mean it. My father, my father. Any covenant I have entered into. That is delaying me from going to my promised land. That is delaying me from moving into that place which the Lord has promised me. Which the Lord has given me as an inheritance. I break it now by fire. Begin to break every covenant. Working against your life. Whether you have taken an oath before. Whether you have visited the shrine And they gave you something to eat. Carry a badosia. When you have your bottle of anointing oil. Bring it out right now. I am going to pray on it. And you will vomit whatever you have taken. God will flush it out. By the reason of that anointing oil. 
He will flush it out of your system and you will be free. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God. Every covenant I have entered into, that is delaying me, that is drawing me back from going to the place which God in heaven has promised me, which going to that place that will favor me, that covenant that is dragging you back tonight. I break it now by fire. I break it now by fire. I destroy it now by fire. In the name of Jesus. Ha! Now I decree. I decree tonight. This message is going to someone that lives in Nigeria. You are watching me right now on Facebook. This message is going to someone in Nigeria. Be careful. Within now and 18 days, count it from today. Between now and 18 days, don't eat in any bar or restaurants. If you do, you shoot yourself in the leg. I will not say more than that. A man, a man, a man, fair in complexion. A young man, fair in complexion. It's just an average, not tall. If you go to restaurants or bar between now and 18 days, consider yourself ROIP. I've said it. But anyone, listen, anyone seeking for your life this year will go down for your sake. <laughs> Whether they like it or not, anyone looking for your downfall this year, they will go down for your sake, I prophesy, in the name of Amen. Jesus. Hey. Amen. Who is that person that said, over his or her dead body, will you leave and see the blessings of the Lord over your life? Hey. Kabariado siyada. Nanagi, nanagi, Nanigi bushi, nanigi, nanigi, nanigi bushi. Anyone that has vowed for you not to see the blessings of God upon your life. There are some of us here. You suffer and suffer and suffer and suffer, nothing to show. By the time you are, your light is coming up, that is when the evil ones will not raise their ugly heads. They will now raise their dirty face to say, ha, how is he going to prosper? How is she going to rise above us? Now, I decree judgment of God upon anyone working for your sake just to see you down. I decree the judgment of Jehovah, the judgment of God from the judgment throne of Jehovah. I decree judgment of God upon them tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone of you that has anointing oil tonight, I pray on those anointing oil, whether you do it now or later, I bless every anointing oil tonight. As you take it, it will flush away any cola you have eaten in any evil altar in the name of covenant that is dragging you back from your way of sources, that is delaying your breakthrough, I decree tonight divine deliverance upon you deliverance from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet in the name of jesus for the bible said whatsoever we lose here on earth is lost in heaven and whatsoever we shall bound here on earth shall be bound in heaven so therefore every spirit tormenting your life whether physically, spiritually, through that covenant you have taken, through that oath you have taken. So therefore, those spirit uh, tormenting your life, I decree in the name of Jesus be broken. In the name of Jesus be broken. In the name of Jesus be broken. Amen. Lord, let your covenant take over them tonight. Your covenant of healing, your covenant of rising up again, your covenant of restoration, sir. your covenant of divine liberation, your covenant of moving forward. May it be the portion of your people tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, 
I don't care. Wherever they have been tearing cola in your head in the night. Hey, I see an old woman. An old woman, very old woman. Light chocolate. Very old woman. Still practice witchcraft. This is not someone living in the village. She lives in the city. I don't know. This person lives in the city, but I don't know which country. She lives in a city. Very old woman. Slim. She's slim. I decree tonight. Anyone dancing around your picture every night. I decree the fire of God hit them tonight in the name of Jesus. I decree if I be the chosen daughter of Jehovah, any man or woman working with your picture tonight for evil, just to see you down, just to see you shed tears. May the fire of God in heaven hit them tonight in the name of Jesus. As they said, they will not let you rest. They themselves will not rest. You will keep going higher and they will keep drying day by day. In the name of God, the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, let your promises come to pass in the life of your people. Let your promises come to pass in the life of your people once again. Let the promises you have made in the life of your people come to pass in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree tonight that the angels that watch over us will continue. The angels that are fighting for us continues in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any mirror they are calling your name on. Any mirror they are watching you day and night. Hey, I don't care to know where that mirror is coming from. Any mirror they are using to monitor you. I decree the fire of God will locate that mirror tonight. As they begin to call your name from today in any altar or any mirror, fire of God will appear instead of you. Amen. And when the fire of Amen. God appear, you know what that means. I don't need to explain Amen. much. Fire of God will begin to appear on any mirror mentioning your name for evil tonight in the name of Jesus. From today, I decree and I declare, I give 14 days from today. If I be a chosen daughter of Jesus Christ, if I be an oracle of Jehovah Nisi, I decree tonight, any mirror calling you for evil from today, fire of God will expose them. Fire of God will expose them. I give 40 days from today. Any mirror, any man or woman calling your name for evil in an evil mirror. Fire of God will expose them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Lord, I bless Thank every you, womb here tonight. Any woman expecting a baby, babies, Miracle children. Father, let those wombs be fruitful from today. Let those wombs be fruitful from today. Father, you have been doing it. And I know you will still do it again. I know you will do it again. Because you have been doing it. I know you will do it again. Jehovah, I know you will do it again. Amen. Don't give up, don't give up. Oh, don't give up. Whenever you are to give up, don't give up. For your miracle is on the way. Oh, my sister, don't give up. When you are passing the difficulties. Oh, my brothers, don't give up. 
When you were passing the difficulties, He will raise you from zero. He will raise you from zero to hero. He is great in the presence of miracles. For He is great in the presence of miracles. Brothers and sisters, have you heard the word of favor? From today, favor will locate you. Favor of God in heaven will locate you from today. I don't care whatever you have been expecting from God. I decree 65 days from now. Testimonies shall locate you. Testimonies will be your portion. 65 days from today, whatever it is you have been waiting for, whatever it is you have been asking God to do, I stand as an oracle of Jehovah to Lord, I say, place my knees on the floor tonight, oh God. Jehovah Nisi, as a choosing daughter of Jesus Christ, I decree, Lord, Father, 65 days from now, let there be testimonies in the life of your people. Let there be testimonies in this program. Let there be testimonies. As many of them that are online today and them that are not there and those that will come across this video later, in the name of Jesus, testimonies will locate you. Amen. Amen. I don't care how long it is you have been waiting. I don't care how long it is you have been asking God. You might think that God is not hearing you. I am here to announce to you tonight. Uh, have hope in God. Uh, believe in Him. Because there is nothing too hard for Him to do. Uh, there is nothing too hard. There is nothing too hard. There is nothing too hard for my God to do. There is nothing to add. There is nothing to add. There is nothing to add for our Lord to do. Between now and 65 days, your testimony is sure in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I decree whatsoever your sons and daughters have lost in the past few days, few months, few years. Father, let there be restorations. Amen. Let there be restorations. Let there be restorations. Let there be restorations. I want to hear testimonies. Lord, I want to hear testimonies. You, Jehovah, that has been doing it for me. You have been doing it for others. I know you will do more again today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father. I believe, I believe, my God has done it again. I believe, I believe, my God has done it again. He has done it for Daniel when he was passing the land of death. He has done it for Shadrach and Meshach Bednego. I believe, I believe, my God has done it again. What kind of trouble that God cannot solve? Carry Abadosia. What kind of problems that God cannot solve? If you believe in Jesus, and he will do it for you today. If you believe in Jesus, and he will do it for you today. Today, what kind of sickness that God cannot see? What kind of trouble that God cannot solve? If you believe in Jesus, and He will do it for you again. If you believe in my Lord, and He will do it for you again. Just trust in the Lord. Continue to trust in Him. Continue to love and obey the name of the Lord. And you will see, He will keep raising you from zero to hero. From hero to greater, greater, greater height. He will keep raising you up. He will keep lifting you up. Keep trusting in Him. Keep believing in Him. Keep hoping in Him because He is working in your life.
He is doing something in your life. You might not see it this moment. But he's working in your life. I decree that from today, the soldiers of Jehovah Nisi will start working on your behalf. If you are not seeing soldiers in your dreams, soldiers walking around you, then you need to work harder. You need to go more closer to God. Because what soldiers are what? Your guardians angels. They are always with you when you are connected in the spirit. Work harder with God. Walk your way and win the heart of God. Win the heart of Jesus so that his love, his protections, his blessing, everything that he has planned for your life will come to pass. Everything will fall into places. Any one of you that are sick tonight, I decree healing of God upon your life. I decree divine healing of God upon your life. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Whosoever they have tied down in the spiritual realm, I decree. Father, I decree tonight. Anyone they have tied their soul, their spirit down in the coven, I decree tonight as I mention Holy Ghost fire now. Let that rope begin to lose and let that man, let that woman, let that child be free tonight. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Kabaria dosu sayaki yabanoria. Anyone they have tied down in the spiritual realm, in the name of Jesus, let them be free tonight. I decree freedom of God. I decree restorations. Let them be set free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone that has planned accident for you this year, return it back to them. Amen. I return it back to them. Whether you are in Amen. Africa, you are in Europe, you are in, in any way, as long as you live in this world, as long as you are here on earth, anyone that has planned accident to take your life, I send it now back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Now we are going to sing this song together. Put your two hands on your head. No be my head, oh. No be my head, oh. Anything where demon they plan, no be my head, oh. Hey, wo, no be my head, oh. No be my head, oh. Anything where demon they plan, no be my head, oh. I say, no be my head, oh. Hey, no be my head, oh. Anything where witches they plan, no be my head, oh. We send every satanic, every wishes and wizard plans. Because no witchcraft plans for your life is always good. Wishes are always asked to do evil. They are always asked to destroy. So every agenda of witches over your life, your families, anywhere you are, that agenda is cancelled by fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone that wants to prove stubborn head to say, ah, why is this person not falling? We have been trying and trying and trying. I decree tonight, as they keep trying, they will keep going closer to their grave. In the name of Jesus. The more they try to hurt you, whether physically, spiritually, the more they plan to hurt you, the more they are going closer to their grave. In the name of Jesus. Until they let you go, God will not let them rest. God will keep tormenting their life. As many of them that, that think they want to torment you. No one tormented the children of God and go free. For we are the apple of God's eyes. So anyone that wants to touch the apple of Jehovah's eye. What? Automatically is trying to touch the apple, the eyes of Jesus. That therefore they will face what? Severe consequences. Amen. And I decree tonight. I prophesy over your life. Anyone planning to take that which is giving you joy. Fire of God will hit them tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As we have prayed, so shall it be. I soak each and every one of you with the blood of Jesus. Anyone that has caught cases, anyone that has caught issues, I decree 
you will have victory over your enemies. You will have victories over those that want to pull you down in the name of Jesus. And anyone that has captured your child or your children in any way, I pray for instant release. Release, release in the name of Jesus. Your children will come back to you in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. For the, the, the expectations of the righteous can never be cut short. So therefore, every laborer deserves their wages. You have suffered as a father. You have suffered as a mother. So anyone that wants to take your children away by trick or by stealing, in the name of Jesus, fire of God, we arrest them. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Now we are going to use few minutes to talk about the word of God. We have talked to God. We have asked him, tell him everything. It is now time for us to hear his message. It is now time for us to listen to his words. Deuteronomy 14, Deuteronomy chapter 11. If you have your Bible, please open along with us. Deuteronomy chapter 11. Our topic, our main topic starts about love and obey the Lord. Because no one, anyone that is obeying God, anyone that is obeying Jesus, following the right path, never goes astray. Anyone that loves God is never disappointed, no matter what. God will always fight your battle. Because why? You are genuinely in love with God. You are genuinely what? Obeying Him. You know, at times, we will look at ourselves. Ah, okay, nobody is seeing me. And then, you paint a picture, a different picture outside. And then inside, you paint another picture. That is not how to follow God. How to obey Him. Or how to love Him. Now, I will reach uh, uh, verses 1. Deuteronomy 11, verses 1. Mm -hmm. I will read. He said, Therefore, thou shalt love the Lord thy God. This is also in what? Exodus chapter 20. This verses I am reading in Deuteronomy now is also what? In, in Exodus chapter 20. Now he said, verses 1, Therefore thou shalt love the Lord thy God and keep his charge, which is his commandment, and his statutes and his judgment and his word, his commandment, always. You can also go and study Deuteronomy chapter 10 verses 12 and also Zechariah chapter 3 verses 7. You can go and study it as well. You can be writing it down. For those of us who are on Zoom meeting, the, the this prayer we are doing now is also online. It's on my Facebook. It's on my Facebook. You can I will share the link in this group later so that you can pick the, the things you want to pick and the, the verses as well. Verses 2 said, and know ye this day, for I speak not with your children, which have not known. Now, he's talking to you today. He's not talking to your children, which have not known God. Because the children we brought forth to this world, they, we are to teach them how to know God, who God is. We are to teach them who is Jesus and what he does and how he works. Hallelujah. We are the one to teach him, to teach them. That is why he said in verses 2, yeah, he said, I know ye this day, for I speak not with your children, which have not known. The children knows God. They have not known him. They are just a child. So we, the parents, are to teach our children who God is. So therefore, God is, Jesus is not talking to us. He's not talking to us. And he said, and we shall have not seen. The chastisement of the Lord your God. His greatness, his mighty hand, and his stretched out arm. And his miracles and his act. God works in a miraculous way. Whether we like it or not, Jesus does miracles. And he, 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 he worked wonders. Which he did in the midst of Egypt. Unto Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and unto all his land. And what he did unto the army of what? Egypt. Unto their horses and unto their chariots. 
how he made the water of the Red Sea to overflow them as they pursued after you. You see, God loves us so much. He loves us so much. That is why he did those things to Pharaoh and his cohorts. Because why? They were after the children of Israel, trying to destroy them. If God has not done anything, all of them would have been consumed. But God is now reminding, of, reminding us of how he fought for us then. How he did it for us. He's the same God today. That is why, because he loves us. He loves us. He's talking to us now. Reminding us of all he has done. How he destroyed them unto this day. You can read Exodus 14 verses 27 as well. Without time, we'll read further. And what he did unto you in the wilderness, hallelujah, until you came into this place. And what he did unto that time, and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the sons of Reuben, how the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up. Ha, ah, Jehovah and their household and their tents and all the substance that was in their possession in the midst of all Israel number 16 verses 1 to 35 you can read this number 16 verses 1 to 35 in verse 7 said but your eyes have seen all the great acts of the Lord which he did verse 8 said therefore shall you keep all the commandments which I commanded you this day, that you may be strong and go in and possess the land with whither ye go to possess it. That is to tell us that remember the promises of God. Remember his love over our life. Remember the covenant. Remember the things he did for us in the past. He is still the same God today. Let us obey and keep his commandment. Let us continue to love and understand this God. He doesn't bite. He's a God that when you cry to him, he will come to your rescue. He said, draw unto me and I will draw closer to you. Return back to me and I will return back to you. He's a God that when he, when he, he wants to do something for you, he knows that you will come. And he will wait for you to come. If along the line you changed your mind, you did not give your life to God again. Then all the blessings are gone just like that. Then it will not be that no one will profit again from it. Every one of us has different grace. We have different cup. Which our glory, our blessing. We have different crowns in heaven. Which these crowns will not enter the other one's head. The other one's crown will not enter the other one's head. That is why all fingers are not equal. Hallelujah. So when we try to keep his commandment, and we will see that God will continue to show us so much love and protection. Mm -hmm. He will continue to watch over. He said, for he that keepeth Israel, never sleep, nor slumber. He is always watching us. He is always what? Protecting his people. He is always there to help us. Praise God. I pray that as we begin to obey the voice of God, as we begin to serve God with all our heart, that we will go to that land which he has given us to possess it in the name of Jesus. And also Amen. that he will prolong our days in the land which is promoting us to, which is taking us to, for us to possess. He will prolong your days in the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers to give unto them and what? To their seed. A land that floweth with milk and honey. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For the land without thou goest in to possess it. Is not as the land of Egypt. From whence ye came out. Where thou sowest thy seed. And waterest it with thy foot. And as a garden of herbs. But the land whither ye go to possess it is a land of hills and valleys and drinketh water of the rain of heaven 
Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 7. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. We will stop here today in verses 11. There is only one place to worship God. Which is in his house. Let us always try and go to his house. Let us not look at what other people are saying. What other people are doing. Let us always go to the house of God and worship. He has given us choice. He has given us choice. He gave us the, the choice of to choose who to serve, whether to serve idol or you want to serve God. Depends on who you choose. At the end, there will be consequences. If, you, if, we, if we should choose wisely, we choose the kingdom of God. That means you are choosing to serve God and let it be from our heart. Let us serve this God with our heart so that at the last day, we will not waste our whole life in hell. Because whether we all like it or not, it is something that, will, that must come to what? Manifestation. All these things have already been prophesied. And it will come to pass at that last day. Those who are serving idols now, worshipping idols. These past days, I have battled with so many native doctors. Flying with their broom. I've seen a lot of them. And I have given some warnings. But when I meet them again, it's going to be fire to fire. I pray that God will give them the grace to repent now that it's still very, very early before it is too late. Because these same native doctor people think they are serving now. They, they, they are just increasing their problems because it is written in the word that those who seek after other gods for solution are what? Automatically and indirectly increasing what? Their problem. They are in, indirectly, automatically increasing their problem. Because visiting idols, visiting native daughters is not going to help. Because these same native daughters are the same as witches. They go to the same kovu. They have different grades, yes, but they are still witches. So tell me how a witch will come and save a child of God. It can't happen. Instead, when he goes to that coven, they will say, ah, you know, you know, we have tied this person. Then why do you want to lose you? He will say, okay, okay, no problem. In order for him not to bring problem to himself and his household, he will beg them for just for days. Okay, just make the medicine to work so that they will know that I am a strong babala, a strong native doctor, a strong witch doctor. And then they will grant it. The person will take the medication and be fine. They will say, ah, he has done it. They will clap, bravo. <laughs> they will clap for that native daughter. But by the time those witches will release the medicine they, they gave you, they will increase the problem again for you. That is when, ah, cabariado. That is when it will become more difficult. Except you seek the face of God untimely. Otherwise, a child of God will just go, be gone like that for no reason. I want to talk to each and every one of us hearing that is that are under the sound of my voice today. It is our time we surrender totally to this God. In Deuteronomy 11 said, love and obey the Lord. He is the only one. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Let us submit ourselves to him totally. Let us submit ourselves to him so that when he is fighting for us, we will not take his glory. To give a native daughter that he's the one that did it. All these people that think they are rich, many musicians visit Babalawo. They talk, they, they are thinking that it is that shrine, that that altar that is blessing them. They don't know that it is God. But by the time those Babalawo will now see that and picture and see them through that evil mirror, that ah, something great like this is coming to this woman, this man. And at the end of the day, that native daughter and the family, they are not going to benefit. You will only, only end up giving them goat to eat or fowl to eat. That is when they will put fire on your head. They will now say, ah, so now you, are, you have gotten enough blessing. You want to give me only goat. That is why, when they will now come and tell you, we need your child as a sacrifice. We need this as a, They will give you difficult task, which you can never ever think of doing. To agree to. As you have not agreed then. You have put yourself in problem. So how is, not, is those native daughter. Now helping issue. 
How is those native doctors not blessing us? No way. Because Satan, demon, cannot give you something that is so small as this. And then tomorrow, you have it thousands of that which he has given you. What do you think will happen? Hallelujah. Do you think that native doctor will be happy? That demon will be happy? He will say, ha, now he has blessed you. Only you want to enjoy everything. Problem will come. But if it is only God we believe in, only him alone, you have the power to command something and it will work for you. Not only me. Not just because I'm a prophetess. Not just because I'm a woman of God. But you have the same power to say, God, let this mountain move. And it will move. Under that, your voice. As long as your heart is connected to heaven. Your mind is connected to the things of God. Genuinely, anything you command. For the Bible said it shall come to pass. For this tongue we have is very small, but it's powerful. Hallelujah. Let us not incur the wrath of God upon our life again because we are indirectly receiving curses from heaven as we are following different native doctors, different authors. Today, I saw a gathering of occultic people. A gathering of occultic people. They, they are, they, they, the rest of them were asking their leader, Ha! Master! Why? They covered their head. They were putting on black. I didn't see their faces, but they covered their head very well. With their black dark gown. Asking themselves, why did I come to that premises? Who asked me to come to that place? They were very angry. Because why? I came to expose them. Immediately, they ran away from that place. Because I almost, I walked into their midst, into their center. To unveil one of them at least. To see if I would know their faces. That is how they are. They will run away. Because a time is coming. All these, all these occultic people, God will expose them. When the time comes, God is going to expose them one after the other. They were really angry when I saw that revelation today. I just said I should close my eyes, rest in my back. All of a sudden, what I saw was what? Occultic men putting on black, covering their head. They masked their face. They wanted to do their meeting as usual. But when they saw me enter their midst, they were questioning themselves. Hey, Master, why did you allow this lady to come in here? Who invited her? Uh, by the way, how did she know we are here? They started complaining. They were so bitter. They were so angry that I was there. So what they need to do was to run away very fast. Because I entered their center. That is how demonic some people can be. So God will continue to expose them one after the other. But we as the children of God, we should learn to, to submit totally. Let us submit totally under the grace of God. So that his grace will continue to protect us. It will continue to watch over his people. Hallelujah. Let us not think that there is no God. For there is God and he's watching us. He is the one alone that is protecting us. Let us keep his commandment. That is why he said, love and obey the Lord in Deuteronomy chapter 11. Let us learn to keep his commandment. Let us learn to obey him to the end. Because God is speaking. It is only if we do not hear. If our mind is not connected to his, his words, then it is difficult for us to hear. It is difficult for us to see. Even if he talked to you in your dreams, you will not remember. Even if you stand and it, 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 it kept you in one place for you to see something, you will not even figure it out. You cannot calculate. You cannot count them together. It will be difficult. Praise God. I want every one of us from today, let us maintain our standard with God. Let us maintain that position, that gift he has given us. That grace he has given us, let us maintain it. Let us stand on that path of righteousness to continue loving him and obeying his words. I pray that as we hear the voice of the Lord today, he will continue to what? Guide us. He will continue to wash and order our steps in the name of Jesus. We are coming to the end of this meeting today. Anyone that wants to follow me on my page,
My Facebook page, my Redeemer Living Ministry International is my Facebook page on Facebook. And anyone that wants to follow me also on YouTube, in case, is Prophetess Florence on YouTube. You're welcome and God bless you anytime, any day you're coming. Don't forget to share this Zoom to every other person. Don't forget to share the Facebook live to every other people so that they can listen the word to the word of the Lord and follow us on this prayer we have prayed. I pray that those of us that are just coming that was not at the beginning of this meeting and we did the prayer, I pray that the same grace that followed those prayers we have prayed before you came, that same grace will locate you, that same prayers will find you. It will work for you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pray tonight that every word we have heard today, may it remain in our heart. May it grow in our heart and sow a good seed, a seed of faith, a seed of obedience, a seed of victory in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I soak Amen. each and every one of you with the blood of Jesus. As many of you that has heard this voice today, that has listened to the word of the Lord today, and the prayers you all have prayed today, heaven will hear your cry. Today, if you are very patient enough, and if your heart is not busy, God will open your eyes to see some things today. Something that has been tying you down, God will lose you tonight. In the name of Jesus. I speak over your life today that it shall be well with you in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night, and in the noon day. Anyone that wants to speak evil over your life, I silence those voices in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is sick, may God send divine healing to heal them tonight. Total healing in the name of Jesus. I pray that the power of restorations will fill you all, bless you all tonight. In the name of Jesus, go in peace and remain blessed. May God bless you all Amen. in Jesus' name. Let us together Amen. share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house and in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you all. Good night. Hallelujah. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. Joy Winnie, you are welcome. Ebuka Shuku, God bless you. Shante, God bless you. Nase, God bless you. Susan, God bless you. I see you all. God bless you. Himasu, God bless you. He <laughs> said I should stand up, please. <laughs> You know, when I am under prophetic ministration like this, I cannot, I don't move around except when I want to stand, I stand, yeah. So, um, who are that again? Susan, Aji, you are welcome, God bless you. George, Brother George, you are welcome, God bless you. Himashu, God bless you. And um, Brother Cruz, you are welcome. Zakaria, you are welcome. God bless you for coming. God bless you all for coming. Who else again? Who else? Who else is here again? Who else is here? Brother Mayo, you are welcome, sir. God bless you. Good evening. Desto Babao, God bless you. Thanks for coming. Brother Fosa Wisdom, God bless you. Thanks for coming, George Bishop. God bless you all. God bless you all for coming. You all are highly welcome. Even though we have closed for the meeting, I pray that God will open his heaven to bless you all tonight. Whatever is your heart desires, no matter the country where you are, no matter what you want, 
God will grant you all your heart desires. Only just believe in him. Only know that God is sufficient. Know that his love is sufficient. Know that his mercy is sufficient in our life. May divine God protect you all. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so, Kishan, every one of you, the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ loves you all. I love all of you. And for those of you who have not been able to reply your messenger messages, don't be offended because the messages there, man, is so long that, <laughs> you know, I have so many calls and people are like, I'm attending to for prayers and all that. So I don't have time except you message me on my prayer line, which is my ministry. When you go to my ministry page, my Redeemer Livet Ministry International, when you go to that Facebook page and you search this name I just mentioned, write to me on that um, inbox there, drop your message and whatever it is you want us to pray about and I will respond. Mm -hmm. But messenger, I don't reply on time because messages are too much. So God bless you all and remain blessed.